Hi, I'm Veronica Wasek with 5-Minute Bookkeeping. Do you know what a bank reconciliation is? Well, you might be surprised to learn that it's probably not what you think. So today we're going to show you how to reconcile your bank statement to QuickBooks. If you find this content helpful, then like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel to get my latest videos. And here's Andre with the tutorial. Hello there, everyone. This is Andre. First, let me eliminate a common misconception about bank reconciliations. Some QBO users assume that reconciling a bank account is when they add or match transactions in the bank feeds window, shown here. Unfortunately, this is not true. You cannot reconcile a bank account just by adding or matching transactions. However, if you do add and match transactions in the bank feeds window first, the reconciliation of your bank statement to QuickBooks Online will go much smoother. To really reconcile, you'll need a monthly bank statement because you must enter some transactions from the statement directly into QBO and verify that the transactions that cleared your bank actually match the transactions recorded in your books. A bank statement usually comes in the mail every month, unless you've opted to go paperless. In most cases, you can see your bank statement online by logging into your bank account. Bank statements from various banks may look a little different from each other, but they do have a few things in common. These include a date range. This is usually from the first day of the month to the last day of the month. A beginning balance. This is the bank balance on the first day of the period usually the month. An ending balance. This is the bank balance on the last day of the period. Next, let's go to the window where you'll actually perform a bank reconciliation. First, select the gear icon. Then, select Reconcile. Under Account, select the bank account you wish to reconcile. Let's look at beginning balance. The beginning balance on your monthly bank statement is also the ending balance from a previous bank reconciliation. Enter the ending balance that you see on your bank account statement. Then enter the ending date that you see on your bank account statement. Lastly, select Start Reconciling. Okay, this may seem overwhelming at first, but don't worry, I'll go over each section. At the top of the reconciliation window, you will see a summary showing the following. A beginning balance. This is the ending balance from a prior bank statement, as well as the beginning balance of the most recent bank statement. Ending balance. This is the ending balance that you see on your current bank account statement. Payments. These are money out transactions such as checks and electronic payments. Deposits. These are money in transactions that you receive from customers. At the bottom of the reconciliation window, you'll see a lot of columns, words, and numbers that may not make sense. So let me break everything down for you. This is the date of the transaction. This is the date the transaction cleared the bank. This is also the date of the transaction when you first see it in the banking center. This is the transaction type, such as a check, a bill payment, a deposit, or a refund. This is the reference number. Some, but not all, transactions have a reference number. The most common type of reference number is a check number. The account is the transaction's income or expense category. The payee is the vendor or customer name. The memo shows additional transaction information entered into QBO. A green match symbol next to a transaction means that the transaction was added or matched in the banking center. Ideally, you want all the transactions in the reconciliation window to have a match symbol next to them. The payment column is for money out transactions. You will also see the payment amount next to each transaction. The deposit column is for money in transactions. 
you will also see the deposit amount next to each transaction. When looking at the reconciliation window from this perspective, it looks very similar to the bank feeds window in the banking center, so it's actually not that all complex. The main difference is that there are just a few more columns we need to pay attention to. Now let's go back to the bank reconciliation. On your bank statement, look at each transaction one by one. For example, the bank statement shows an expense for Hicks Hardware for $24.38 on December 9, 2018. Find the same transaction in your bank reconciliation window and check the circle next to that transaction. This will mark the transaction as cleared in the bank reconciliation window. Continue selecting all the transactions that appear on your bank statement. Once you've selected all the transactions, the difference in the upper right should be zero. Finally, select Finish Now to reconcile. And that's how you reconcile a bank statement to QuickBooks Online. Remember, Reconciling bank statements to QuickBooks Online on a monthly basis is a critical part of doing your own bookkeeping. Make sure that you reconcile your bank account to QuickBooks Online every month. This is Andre, and thank you all for joining me today.